So we're going to explore a little bit about the gyro block. So this sensor is a gyroscope. Sometimes you'll hear it referenced as the tilt sensor. But it is much like what you have in your cell phone or on the Nintendo Wii. It can sense movement and report out what it sees. And we can do things with it um, if we program our code correctly. So when you plug it in, you should immediately see it pop up here at the bottom. And you'll notice it moves when I do. And it's reporting out some numbers. So being flat, it reports out zero. Tilting forward, it says nine. Backward is three. These numbers are deterministic, so they're going to be the same every time. Forward is always going to be nine. Back is always going to be three. To the left is seven. To the right is five. So we can start thinking of this as a joystick almost, where up down, left, and right are values that we can predict and we can write code that takes those into account. So and we're also going to introduce the concept of sending and receiving values. So let's write a quick little program. I want this to loop and I want to send out what we're seeing with the gyroscope. So I've used this letter and that letter has a little puzzle piece at the bottom. You can hook something into it. I'm going to hook in the gyro, and I'm going to choose just the regular gyro. Now, when I run this program, that letter indicates it's going to take the reading that the gyro sees and send it out. So that's kind of just like what we see in the corner here. It's going to take that value seven five three nine or zero it's going to send it out so how do we listen to it if you look at this icon here it is like a mailbox so it's ready to receive messages and we can have it listen for certain addresses in this case we know that three and nine are forward and back so let's have it listen to nine. Nine should correspond to tilting forward. So when this program sends out a nine, we're going to listen to that nine and we're going to report out that we've seen a forward movement. So let's have it print out forward on the screen. Let's do the same for backward. So we can add a second mailbox and we want this mailbox to have the address of three now. So we're listening for a three. When that three shows up, we want to display that we are backward. Now one more mailbox could be listening for zero and zero corresponds to flat so let's put that in there and when i run this program it's just going to loop and keep sending out whatever the gyro sees let's give it a try and see what comes up on the screen so it's reporting flat and you see it's iterating here on the zero flat 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 if i tilt forward it sees a 9, it reads the mailbox for 9, and it says forward, just like we programmed. If we tilt it back, then backward shows up. So, flat, backward, flat, forward. This can be used to create a really cool control scheme for the crane. At this point, we are just reporting out words. Words are great, but I think the kids really want to have something happen with their motor instead. So we're going to change this around. Forward is going to correspond to clockwise. So that'll be pulling the crane load up. Backward will be counterclockwise, which will be dropping the crane. 
and if we are reading zero or flat, that means we want to stop the crane. So let's add in a motor here so we can get a visual for what we're doing. And we'll run our program. Since we're flat and reading zero to start, we expect no motion. And you can see that that program is sending out a zero and running zero as soon as we start tilting forwards you'll see that the motor is spinning clockwise so that could be lifting our load up and when we get to the top we go flat and the load stops we perhaps take the crates off and we need to drop it down so we tilt back and it comes down so this becomes remote control for the crane so the students can easily control it with their hands and get a cool visual feedback. So this works just fine, but you can get fancier if you want to. Here's a quick example of a joystick that I built using the exact same thing. You see the gyro is involved in there and it's connected through these blocks that have a hole in them and these blocks that have a peg through them with a few extra rubber bands you get centering let's plug this in and run our program if you were to have this on the side of your crane model and run it right the kids can send the load up or down based on the direction of the joystick. And if they center it, then it stops. So kind of a neat way of running it. And it's definitely one where anybody who shows up and wants to see how your model works would understand. So the concepts here are pretty simple. I'll stop that. We're using this send technique to read our gyroscope and the address is that that mail can get sent to, we're defining 930. We don't have to define every direction, just the ones we care about. So if it sends out a five or a seven for left or right, we're just ignoring those, it doesn't matter. 